this video is going to be a little bit interesting here I'm going to use this crack image and using this crack image I'm going to create the effect something like this Yes, you can achieve this kind of face crack effects using this stock image. I will show you the complete step by step. But before going to proceed, make sure to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Stay with me and let's begin. Alright, we are on Headfilm Express. First of all, uh, I am going to drag my main video footage to my editor timeline but here i don't need the whole video clip i'm only considering from here let's say to here and the rest of the things i'll cut and from this portion i'm going to make one composite shot this is my main composite shot or say let's uh, say man okay we are on the composite shot now so the first step is to track the motion of this face because as you can see the face is moving little bit so it's very important to track the face so for that purpose Let's make one point layer. Let's rename it as a tracking point. And now you go to the video footage under that track. You just apply the motion tracking here. So here I'm going to hit the eye since eye is in main focus. So, so it will be easy to track. So you play here. And you can see the point tracker is properly tracking the movement of the eye here so our tracking is done now you change the layer to our main point layer and hit the apply so after hitting it apply you can see our point is properly tracking the motion of the eye you see that now the next step so in the next step, I'm going to place this image, as you can see, crack image. So for now, let's reduce the scale. And I'm going to reduce the opacity so that I can see the background. Okay, it's fine. Now in this stock image, you have to make this parent to the tracking point so that it can also move according to the movement of the face. Now you can see our stock image is also moving according to the face. Now I apply the mask on this stock image. You go to the freehand mask and you draw a rough mask on this side. Make the opacity back to 100. And uh, under the mask property, you apply some feather. Now you can see our track is properly tracking the face since we applied a motion tracking. Now for a moment I am going to rename this stock image. Let's, let's name it as a crack. Okay. So in this crack layer I am going to change the blending mode. So I am going to choose the overlay so that it properly blends with the skin. Now the most important part. Now as you can see this effect is static. I want to make some animation of this effect basically it should start from bottom to top so for that purpose i'm going to apply the mask so mask is already there but here i just need to apply the animation on this mask so for that purpose you go to the mask property under the transform you can see you can see there is a patch okay now you after a few frames later you activate one keyframe and at the beginning portion you reduce the size of the mask make it zoom so that you can see properly so now you can see our effect is growing from the bottom to top and that's what we exactly want so this is all about the masking magic you see that and the effect is properly blended with the color of the skin but here i want to fix one thing at the beginning portion i don't want any kind of effect 
so that's why I'm going to play with the opacity property this is my crack footage and uh, another opacity property after a few frames the opacity will remain 100 but at the beginning frame I'm going to make it zero so that at the beginning frame and there is no effect and after that it slowly starts so this is the overall structure now on this effect you can add so many things like hue saturation curve effect brightness so here i'm going to apply first the gamma and this is my gamma and you just apply it and uh, you can play with all this according to your choice let's increase the red channel but make sure don't overdo it you can apply the glow property as well so let's apply the glow so this is my glow and apply it here under the glow property you can play with the intensity so that you know it becomes more bright So that's all about up to you and finally after applying some music and sound effects your final effect will be like this so here is the concept first of all you have to apply the motion tracking then you just place the image and then add the proper color grading and all other effects and then finally you will get this kind of effects let me know in the comments have you tried this or not you can tag me on instagram and follow me smash the like button leave your comments and share it and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon i'll see you in the next video till then goodbye